Travel 2018, press conference held on September 24, General Sellier, DGA's head of naval programs, told Navy Recognition, that discussions on EMLs, with American counterparts, started in the summer of 2018. While, he stressed that those were preliminary talks, and that no firm decision have been taken, about fitting EMLs on a future aircraft carrier, yet, he acknowledged that the discussions, included technical aspects. France's future aircraft carrier will likely feature EMLs by General Atomics. The French Navy was briefed by Navair on both EMLs and Agatha test facility in Lakehurst in 2017. In September, Florence Parley, Minister of the Armed Forces, said that the studies for a new aircraft carrier are being launched as part of the 2019 to 2025 military planning law. She stressed that the current aircraft carrier, the Charles de Gaulle, is set to remain in service, until around 2040, as planned. During the Naval Group Innovation Days, back in June, Naval Group CEO, Herb Gillu, told Navy Recognition, that there are two new factors, two unknowns that will impact the size of a future aircraft carrier. The first one being the Amuls. Gillu explained, that technical details about the Amuls, were necessary in order to design and size the aircraft carrier. The second factor, being the air wing. More than the because, the future manned combat aircraft, currently being developed by France and Germany, Gilou stressed that the real unknown factor is the future UCAV, because drones have never been used aboard aircraft carriers before. Future carrier vessels, will have to be sized taking into account, the unmanned aircraft factor. The electromagnetic aircraft launch system, IMS, is designed to replace steam catapult system, currently used on U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. Gerald R. Ford, CBN-78, is the first carrier to use IMS. Due to its flexible architecture, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, can launch a wide variety of aircraft weights, and can be used on a variety of platforms, with differing catapult configurations.